so hi guys this is me at 11 weeks and three days according to my flu app because i've been using the app since i discovered i was pregnant and um when i went for scan the last scan i had i think it was um a little bit delayed like a little bit earlier than what i thought it is right now but i think those those dates are, are not always correct that's why if they give you um estimated date of delivery like they'll had plus or minus like you get plus or minus two weeks or one week or so you get those dates are not always um corresponding or something like they don't used to have the exact dates because definitely nobody then put that there now god he gets so <clears throat> I don't know from yesterday i just felt a lot lot better i've read online and everything and i've come to realize that the nauseous feeling throwing up and everything ends at um i think the first three months like the first trimester the second trimester should be okay it should be like you should feel strong and feel yourself and everything so and according to what i'm counting my 12 weeks is exactly on sunday on sunday so i was hoping like from next week i'll feel better and everything because I mean we have a wedding to plan the wedding is at um, february 5th of february i just feel i feel much better but what i like about my body is um my stomach is not so bloated like I still feel my normal self. I can still even wear my waist trainer if I want to. So, guys, I don't know when we're supposed to do scans to know the gender and everything, but my mom was even saying she has a strong feeling that it's a male child, is a boy, or whatever it is. And we're okay and we are thankful to God. So, I just finished eating now, rice. Like, I was so surprised I could cook yesterday. I made semo, <laughs> me semo, for the past like two months. I don't like going to the kitchen. I don't like going to the kitchen. I either buy fast food or my hubby makes me for us. I really don't like. But yesterday I was just so agile and strong. Even this morning, I woke up strong and I am so so happy. One thing I realized is, like, we don't give credit to pregnant women in our lives. We like. We just expect them to like know everything be um what's it called like get accustomed to everything um there's one particular get used to everything immediately like what was there ah, man we need to give cre credit to them because it is not so easy like it is not <clears throat> i remember my first six weeks I even found out I was pregnant at six weeks. Yeah, five weeks and maybe five days or so. Six weeks, yeah. That was when I found out. Uh, the only thing that made me go to do this was I I didn't see my period. Yes, I missed my period, so I was like, let me check. That was when I found out, and then. <sighs> and then, I was feeling very okay and normal, and then. After I checked, maybe after a week or so, I was even I wasn't even throwing up. I wasn't I was feeling normal and everything, but I don't know when it started. I, I think it started at eight weeks. Like the throwing up was mad, mad. I don't throw up on on maybe every I, I just I just used to feel so weak and everything. When I throw up is in the morning, if I'm having my bath, if I'm brushing my teeth. Like immediately the um, brush just touches my mouth. I will just begin to throw up like a, a water that looks like lemon or greenish color kind of man it was not so easy it is not so easy because i'm still in the process but that feeling oh. there was one time i was coming i went out and i was coming back then i um really like got to my house downstairs i just threw up the bread i had because i bought bread and papa I threw up the bread, seven up every single thing. 
I threw up to the extent that all my eyes were red, my eyeballs were red. Even of you was it was scared. It was like oh, your eyeball is red always. Man, it is not so easy. We really need to give credit to them. Nowadays if I see pregnant people, I'll be like, eh? You people well done ma. Hmm, it's so easy. So one of the things that has even really changed totally about me is if you come to my house any day anytime there's always turkey at home either cooked turkey either um turkey in the fridge freezer like there's always turkey in my house like turkey is our favorite protein to eat my hobby and high but now i don't want to hear i don't want to hear the sound of talk i don't want to see it i don't want to smell it i don't want to pass like it is really 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 um confusing i don't really like talking anymore i don't really like it i don't eat it like man god is wonderful and one thing i really liked and i can eat at any day and any time is spaghetti it's not like i'm a fan of spaghetti before but right now i can eat it you know is the easiest food that comes to my mind if i want to eat like what do you want to eat because sometimes i just got confused what do i want to eat i don't feel like eating anything but i'm hungry man for spaghetti i think i'm okay with spag like there was one time i was hungry around 12 in the midnight and i cannot cook so like i just i just became so lazy i don't know if it's laziness i should call it or i don't know because i am not a lazy person in kitchen like i literally cook anything i want to eat like i'm not a fan of buying food and everything anything i want to eat i'll cook it but man hmm. <sighs> so you have to cook this pug at night midnight that was what i ate so i think i'll do that this way thank god Sha. like my my some of the changes i've noticed my breast is really really big like really 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 big not gigantic big but oh, it is big and it is so painful so so oh. what else have i noticed baby nothing really just and i noticed some changes in my face too but it might not be so noticeable too 